Hey, what's up, everybody? Got another pickups video for you guys. I know the last one wasn't that long ago, but I did find some pretty cool stuff. If you want to just see the game system, fast forward a bit. Otherwise, I did find some other cool stuff, and I've got a crazy story attached to this system. So, otherwise, found myself, and I'm out of breath, man. I'm having a really hard time recently. The the weather is just kicking my ass big time. I I've felt more sick recently than I have in the last 10 years, but, so excuse me being out of breath, but, uh, got a couple PC games here, and Mac games, I suppose, but, um, got the first Europa Universalis game complete in box, I already had a jewel case and a disc for this one, but I didn't have a box or a manual, so, as you can see, it has the original Best Buy sticker on it for $40, even just says Europa Univer or Univé on it, so I don't mind those Best Buy stickers. Honestly, they are because they are the original stickers. I mean, this is how the game was sold uh, 20 years ago when it came out. But box is in pretty good shape. Corners are a little dinged up, but I never find computer games or any cardboard boxes that don't have ding corners. But there's no sticker residue or crap on it. It's really in good shape otherwise. Still has the original tape on it. Here's a manual, complete manual, which is uh, a very nice book. It's got hundred and twenty six pages, very in-depth um, and necessary to read if you are playing the game. Either read that or read somebody's online tutorial. And here is the jewel case, which is the same as mine. So didn't come with anything else. No registration cards or anything. I don't know if it ever did, but pretty cool on that one. Not super common to find that. The second game is harder to find. Complete in box. So, there you go. It's not a gate folder in matter. For Mac here, got Call of Duty 2 in a thick DVD case. It does have a sticker at the bottom that somebody tried to peel off. Complete with the instruction manual and disc. Um, this is obviously not compatible with the newest Mac OS versions, but uh, it plays beautifully on all my Macs. Uh, it's a very easy to run game, and uh, COD 2 is just a fantastic game. That's probably my, uh, my second favorite COD game after COD 4, because the campaign and that's just fantastic. So, I mean, the multiplayer is also excellent. Great maps. Games here, um, oh, interesting CD find as well for things with books. <laughs> I'm not even going to begin to try to pronounce this. All you need to know is it's Early Music by Jordi Saval. Um, in its sleeve, this is from Catalonia. Um, 1990. But inside the sleeve is the jewel case, which actually has no back. Just has a textured uh, design to it. There's your disc, and it does have. Um, what's crazy about it? Here, let's see. Stuck on one of the uh, little teeth here. So I'm having a hard time getting it out. Anyway, there is some stuff in there, but what's cool is, again, it comes with a real book. 46 pages. So, in multiple languages. Very cool, and it's this nice textured book. Very high quality disc. And very good music. Jordi Saval is a master of his craft, for sure. I believe I had it. 
but I just thought that was kind of unique. This is pretty rare. I got like seven bucks. PS2 game. Got Ghost Recon. Xbox version is a lot better, but it's like brand new. The original Xbox, I got a few games. SSX3, excellent game with manual and disc. It's a little stained at the bottom there because there's a sticker. Somebody peeled off and the residue discolored. Um, otherwise, it's in good shape. Got, again, I already have these games for other platforms, but they were cheap, so I picked them up. Got NFL 2K2. Has its manual and a little uh, Sega registration card from 2001, <laughs> just after the Dreamcast. What is weird about this, though, and I don't think this is normal, I think this is uh, like kind of like disc rock kind of thing. This is a golden DVD. Like, it's like bronze. Bronze gold. It's it's a very weird look. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but... Um, also, ESPN, or not ESPN, but 2K games. Uh, ESPN 2K5. Tara Lowen's on the cover. Again, complete in good shape. I had this game for the Xbox like six years ago, but uh, the disc, somebody, I don't know what in the hell they put on it, but it was some kind of pink, uh, like almost like some kind of uh, female care product that I'm not aware of, and it ruined the disc. Like, it was just fucking destroyed, so I, I, I chucked that in the garbage, because there was no way to, to salvage that. Um, the case was good, but the disc was destroyed, so now I got it. This is not as good of a game as uh, ESPN 2K4 football which you guys uh, have heard me talk about before. The quarterbacks can just run forever. I had to put them down to like 60-something. Yeah, yeah, they definitely uh, they changed the quarterbacks. I don't like that. But cool enough. Xbox version's a lot better because you can play it in high def on a 360. It looks nice on there. So anyways, here's the game system and a uh, bit of a story behind this one. So I went to this uh, kind of antique mall indoor swap meet kind of place and uh, they have all sorts of odds and ends a lot of old stuff a lot of handmade uh, wooden furniture uh, small wooden crafts and whatnot uh, glassware from back in the day maps just all sorts of odds and ends from back in the day and there's some people that are making craft like the Amish do uh, and they're they're selling it here Sometimes, though, they'll get clothing and games and odd stuff that you wouldn't really expect to be there. And this one guy had a consignment with some video games in it. And so I was looking over it, and I saw a couple systems stacked up. And, you know, I saw PS2 Slims and just other stuff that I didn't really care about. And then at the very side, like behind the other systems, there was this thing I thought was a DVD player till I saw this little perp button on it and started freaking out. Because I knew right away what that was. I looked at it. This was, I don't even know how the hell, who gave it to him. He didn't explain that part, but this guy had a PC Engine Duo system. Which is basically the, the Japanese version of the Turbo Duo, Turbo Graphics 16 and CD in one. So I guess just PC Engine and CD unit. And I was freaking out, like, holy shit, he has this system. This is hundreds of dollars this thing goes for. The Turbo Duo goes for 600 and up sometimes. So I asked him, how much do you want for it? He said, he knew it was rare. He wanted like 120 for it. And I was like, ugh. Looked over it. Controller looked good. System looked pretty good with some scuffs on the top. Um, had the AV cable. Didn't have a power supply. So I was like, shit. So I, I tried to find out, and I did find out. It looks like the power supply should be compatible from a Turbo Duo if I could even hunt one of those down. So I was like, yeah, 120 bucks without the power supply is just a bit ridiculous, so I was going to see if I could talk him down. Uh, but then a buddy of mine pointed out about how 
if the caps aren't good, if it's going to be a bitch to work on, it's probably not worth it, especially not at that price. And I probably wouldn't have been able to talk him down too much lower, because he knew that it was valuable from eBay, of course. But, um... Talked to the guy, said, can I look at this thing on the inside? And he said, if you are willing to buy it, I talked him down to 100 for this, if you're willing to buy it, if you bust it trying to get it open, go ahead. So I opened it up, and you could tell this thing uh, was worse for wear. It, it did not look good on the inside, so I did not go for it. Um, yeah, and it's like, he didn't have the power supply, so how is he even going to know if I broke it or not? But luckily I was able to get away with doing that, and I didn't mess anything up, so he, I didn't have to buy it, but I, I passed on that because of that. Um, but what he did have was, uh, and I've had five of these things, slim systems, and I mentioned I saw some slims too, and I don't care about having any more of those really, I've got enough. Um, but I've never had one of these before, man. And they're not necessarily rare or expensive, but I got a killer deal for the shape this thing's in. So, got myself a PlayStation 2 fat system here. This is the 3001 model, so this is a launch model. As you can see, it does have the Firewire port on the front. This thing is in awesome condition. There is hardly a scratch on it other than one spot I'll show. Very good condition. PS logos in good shape, buttons are good, nice and clicky, disk drives, good, it doesn't get stuck, it's not slow, memory card covers are clean, controller ports are good, everything about the front's good, man, the top, it's making my fingerprints look like scuffs, but they're not, there are little uh, spots that I wasn't able to get completely off, they will come off when I take the case off and scrub it, but it is, there's like no scuffs on it. Nothing that won't come off. In between the grooves is all good. This side's all good. Over here there's a couple of chips, but nothing major. There is one problem and this just kind of happens. Um, over time, I have other things that have this issue. The rubber feet will kind of slide on the bottom. You can see that one's kind of crooked. It's still totally attached, but it gets kind of crooked. I don't really care. That's just going to happen. It happens to my own stuff as well. It's in very good shape and on the back. Again, very good shape. Fan is clean. Um, it has the expansion bay cover on it. Still has the sticker. It was never cut, it looks like. It was it? Very good job of that. <laughs> Sticker looks like it got nicked there, but not bad. Ports are obviously all good. Here's where it's in the worst condition. Because uh, one of the rubber feet came off, and you can tell it got kind of scuffed up in the corner there. So the bottom isn't in great shape, but who the hell is going to look at the bottom of it? Overall, it's in very good shape. And what I thought was kind of interesting is it does have an original refurbished sticker on it from back when the system was current. I don't know what they did do it, I don't know, <laughs> but very cool. And this thing works great. It is kind of loud like these older ones were, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. It did come with the memory cards, and it didn't come with a controller or anything, but I don't give a shit, man. I got plenty of controllers and accessories, but as I said, man, it came with that one free McBoot memory card that was a uh, for the soft mod, which was cool. Definitely made this uh, a worthwhile investment. And he said this was his son's system that he had changed it out for a different one or whatever and was just getting rid of this. I guess he got a, a 5000 model. This is obviously the 3000. So. See, I can't get the. Um, my nails are too short to get the expansion base lot off to check. Oh, here we go. Oh wow, that's not what I thought it would be at all. <laughs> Say, man. It looks like this was never taken off one time. It looks very good in there. You, obviously you can't see in there, but it looks great. Looks perfect.
So that's good. Be a very good shape. I'm very pleased with this. And with the memory cards, man, I paid as much for this system as I did for the damn, or as you would for a memory card online. It's just, uh, it's great. So, out for 10 bucks. So, <laughs> cool to have that, man. I, I always wanted that. I mean, I've got a, a black GameCube. I got two of those, actually, and I got two... I'm not going to pick it up, but I got two black original Xboxes, so now I've got all of the original 6 gen systems in black, so it's pretty cool. That's my main area that I focus on, if you can't tell, is that kind of early 2000s period, late 90s, early 2000s, but... Excuse me. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. I say not too much, but I don't know when the hell the next pickups, big pickups vid is going to be, so I just thought I would do a quick one show in that and tell them the story about how I missed on that PC Engine Duo, because uh, it sucks, man. If that thing would have been complete and it had games and stuff with it, man, I would have gone for it, but it was, it was not in good shape on the inside, and uh, without a power supply, he was wanting 100 for it, trying to talk him down, and it just wasn't worth it, so... I did pass that up, and it's not the first time I've seen one of these things, man. I've seen a regular American Turbo Duo, too, but the caps were fucking ruined on it, too. That thing didn't even turn on, so... Sucks, man. Like, what are the odds of seeing both a turbo and a PC engine that don't work? But... It is what it is. Maybe someday I'll find one of those things working. I'd be thrilled to find even a Turbo Express or a regular TurboGrafx-16 system in my area, because I never find stuff this rare. It's a very strange occurrence when even something like this in good condition pops up, let alone something that freaking rare. So, if I ever do find something like that, I'll, I'll make a bit on it. But for now, I'll just... Uh, because I don't know when the next bit's going to be, but till then, I'll catch you guys later.